Another incident superintendent, the control room of the Swiss Guard is alive with activity as both the blue helmets of the UNE security services and the guards who jointly manages all UNESCO sites that are deemed as high security risk area like Jerusalem. Casualties, emergency responders, screams the officer on duty. We have drone responders on the scene, 18 casualties, 3 killed. The remaining are being treated at site. The young officer frantically punches on the console for more information on the incident and flows it through to her supervisor. Excuse me, coming through. Superintendent, I need to see you now. In the briefing station, now, please. Captain Rico Itu. UNE station chief for Jerusalem beckons his compatriot from the Swiss guards into the room. His face pale with anxiety and stress. Superintendent Giselle Cole is the direct opposite cool and calm. She has been through this before. This is her third tour in Jerusalem. Rookie, she murmurs. Super cold. Third incident this month. More casualties. What is going on? Any of your field operatives have intel? Too many deaths. We still don't know what's going on. Cole clears her throat and leads the captain to an empty chair in the room whilst pulling another for her to sit opposite the disconsolate captain. We have leads, Captain. But how shall I put it to you? She sits and holds her chin as if in a pensive posture. It's awful. Fanatics. We have been tracking this group. Very sophisticated and covers their tracks well. They are off-grid. No jarring. No AIs. Nothing. Only way to track is hard-nosed detective. Captain Ito is dumbfounded. Who are these people? What do they want? No messages. Nothing. The trauma center at the al Makassat Hospital near Mount of Olives in East Jerusalem is buzzing with activity. Busy, but with purpose. This is not the first time they have had to handle emergencies like this. This is the third this month. It doesn't get any easier. I wish Dr. Salah were here. It would have been bearable. Move on, Linda, he would say. Best trauma specialist. We miss him. I miss him. The attendant specialist sighs. She has her hands full tonight. The casualties from the bombing earlier in the day has begun arriving in her trauma centre. The MET drones are mostly here with their precious cargo of casualties in varying degrees of injuries. Doctor, over here. You need to see this. Dr. Harris drops a MET scanner and moves towards the young medical personnel. The treatment room is brightly lit with banks of monitors and AI MET drones dispensing treatment on patients. Over in the corner, the eager medical officer pulls the treatment dividers aside to expose a young, unconscious man in an environmental suit without his helmet. He looked gaunt with a sinewy physique like those off -worlders. What? Who and what is this? Dr. Harris was shocked beyond belief. She couldn't believe what was in front of her. We scanned the DNA ID. Patient is apparently from the Levant homestead. He is in a coma and we have to put him into the suspenser pressure environment chamber now, doctor. Or the Earth's gravity will kill him. Where's his helmet? Put it back on now. The young medical personnel scrambles to place the helmet back on. A short hiss could be heard as it automatically embraces the wearer in a temporary equalized pressure environment. How is an off-worlder present here in the midst of an apparent terrorist suicide bombing? What is going on?